Well, I just wonder what both you guys thought of how Rocket Sanders has played this season, and I guess in particular the big game he had against Ole Miss. What, what's impressed you about his game? Ty, maybe you could take that first. Yeah, as an offensive lineman, I mean, it's fun watching a running back run so hard. And, I mean, he's running great. He's quick. He's big. He's running over guys. He's not afraid of contact. He's just a fun guy to watch right now. He's, I think he's playing really well. Yeah, um, I'd back it up. We, we run against him. We play against him. He's a good, fun back to play against. Um, I'm glad he's on our team. Um, the fact that he's a true freshman doing that right now and playing the way he's mm -hmm. playing, um, he's got a really good future ahead of him. Hey, Grant, from a defensive standpoint, um, what, 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 what are the biggest challenges a guy like, uh, like Rocket presents, would you say? Um, he's an SEC back. Um, he's got really good speed, but he can run downhill. Um, he runs really hard. He doesn't go down usually with the first guy being able to get there with him. Um, we don't do a lot of live tackling all the way down to the ground right now, but when we thud him up, we feel him. Um, he's, he's a good back. He challenges us in the pass game, too, because he runs good routes. Um, but um, he's the fact that he's a true freshman, like I said earlier, the fact that he's a true freshman doing that and the way his mindset is right now is he's continuously working on certain things. Uh, it, it's, it's really good for him and really good for our football team. Thanks, guys. Trey. Yeah, Grant, I was curious uh, your thoughts on Bo Nix and um, the Auburn offense. Yeah, um, so Bo is a um, – he's a veteran quarterback. Um, he extends plays with his legs very well. And when he does it, he doesn't just put his eyes down. He looks up always. Uh, he always finds that next receiver that's open when he goes into scramble. Um, his, the O-line, they're returning four guys. Um, they're real big. They're physical. They like to run downhill, they like to be able to be powerful and be able to show you they're physical. Um, the receivers are good. They have athletes all around. Bigsby's probably one of the best backs in our league. Um, 27 and 8 are really different type of backs that they have to be able to shift back and forth from. And so we have to be ready for whoever's in. Um, but they got they got a really good offense. They can be able to uh, put up a lot of points. They showed in the other games that they did. Um, if we have, we have to be able to stop the run, um, that's I know I don't want to sound redundant, um, but that's that's what we have to do to be able to keep us in this football game. Uh, as a defensive standpoint, we have to be able to stop the run, um, and it starts with Bo and it starts with Bigsby. And just for both of you guys, is there any like revenge factor? I guess I mean it's. I guess Auburn didn't do anything specifically. It was kind of the referees, but is that does that come up at all? Uh, I mean, yeah, you think about it when you think about last year's game, but, I mean, it's all about this year. You just got to win this year, you know. It didn't matter last year. You know, it just went on our record. No one really cared. Yeah, uh, Zach Altai said it. Went on our record as a loss. Um, that's what it was. We, we're we not an excuse team. We don't make excuses saying that could have been. Um, if, if anybody, if the fans want to use this motivation saying they stole a game from us, then go for it. Use it as motivation. But we're here trying to win every game that we can this year, um, and we're going to use whatever it takes to be able to get there. But um, we're going to use it as motivation that we lost that game, and we want to be able to win this game. Thanks, guys. Hey. Grant, I was curious of when that play happened, kind of what the explanation was and what you thought happened on the uh, you know spike that obviously wasn't a spike. Um, so the way, the way I played it, the way I had it in my head, the way it went um, was I saw the snap. Um, I figured Malzahn and, or Morris wanted to go for a late shot, try to just throw us off, off guard because Morris, when he was here, he had plays where it was a fake spike and be able to throw it up. So I thought maybe that's what they were going to do. Um, so I just went and I saw him fumble the snap. And so I just didn't stop and ran after him. Then when I saw him spike it backwards and we all saw him spike it backwards, I was getting held by number 71 as I was going to the ball. So I figured that'd be a flag at least. Um, and then I heard whistles blown all over. Um, so I start yelling at the refs trying to say, hey, that's a fumble. And Joe's still going towards it. Joe's never stopped towards it. Um, they had a receiver that never stopped towards it. that thought it was a fumble. Um, so my point of view, I thought it was a fumble. I thought it could have been turned the other way, but it didn't. Um, so we can't go back and look at it. We can go back and say, oh, that's kind of my viewpoint of it, but it didn't change anything. Um, wish it would have, but it doesn't doesn't matter about this game. Also, as far as the defense coming off the game you have, just kind of what are your big corrections and, and just feeling of, well, is there any shaking confidence after last game? Yeah, um, I think to be able to good, be a good defense um, in this league is you got to be able to go um, week to week and based on your matchups, you got to be able to do whatever it takes to win. Um, and this this week, I know, like I said earlier, like I know where our goal is to stop the run, but 
at the end of the day, it isn't based on Barry Odom stopping the run. It isn't based on Michael Shear stopping the run. It's based on our players being able to do what we've been taught and doing exactly what we've been doing to be able to go and stop the run. Like we had guys in certain spots that, including myself, and I'll look myself in the mirror, I had guys in certain spots that could have made tackles and could have got off the field, and we didn't. Um, so we got to be able to do that this week and be got to be able to step up and make plays when our name's called. Um, but at the end of the day, we got to be able to do our jobs, be able to stay in our gaps and be able to be sound, assignment sound um, and just be able to go back to doing what's worked for us um, and just being able to go and run and hit um, and taking out everything else and just being able to play football the way it is. Thank you. Tom. Hey, this question is for the both of you. Um, Sam Pittman's drumming up support, wanting the students out there and to be loud and all that. I'm wondering this year in particular, if y'all have felt what that, what the crowd can do. Ty, if you can handle that one first. Yeah. I mean, the Texas game, which was sold out, uh, in my recent memory was probably the loudest that stadium has been since I've been here. Definitely. And I think it, I mean, it affected the game. I mean, they they were loud enough to affect their offense a little bit and we definitely got energy off of it. I mean, we were loving playing out in that crowd and we were having, you know, it's just more fun when you have a crowd behind you like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think so. I think Coach Pittman kind of amping up everybody and trying to rout, mm -hmm. rowdy everybody up. I think I think that shows you how good of a head coach that is. He's doing that for us. He's doing that for our players, um, trying to get us a good experience. Um, but at the end of the day, like if that can cause problems for a different offense, I know it did for our offense. We went to Georgia yeah. and it didn't matter when if it, if it was at 11 a.m. or if it was at 6 p.m. Um, crowd can make a difference, um, and I know our crowd will this weekend. And then for, for Ty, uh, you've gone to right tackle now and look like you're going to be there again. Just um, uh, how you felt about, you know, coming in there? Yeah, uh, your right tackle was fun again. It was, uh, you know, uh, pregame, you know, we knew I was going out there, so I was ready. You know, Coach Kennedy's done a really good job of, you know, keeping me prepared for every position. Uh, Coach Pittman, you know, they've, they do a great job of encouraging me and making sure I'm ready for each position and what I like and what I, you know, kind of what I don't feel good about at the tackle spot. But, I mean, I've felt pretty good at tackle. Um, I'm just glad to be playing. Yeah, and then for the both of you real quick, just KJ, was he next level last week? Was that the best KJ we've seen? Man, KJ was fun to watch. Uh, you know, I think if – if we win that game, you know, people nation, you know, on a national level, take more notice of that performance. I mean, he he played it one heck of a game. Um, I'd say this. He's my Heisman vote. I don't care what anyone else put. Like when you go neck and neck with one of the favorites of the Heisman voting and you're not ever mentioned in the top even 20 of Heisman voting, then I don't understand what it is. Um, I, I think if we were a top five team right now and KJ had the exact same stats, he'd be a Heisman candidate. Mm -hmm. um, and like you said, um, is that the best KJ? I don't think it is. I, I don't. I think that's the KJ we know. I think that's the version of KJ I've always been preaching about, saying, look, KJ's matured. KJ's been so much better this season. I think KJ's done a really good job of understanding his role and doing exactly what he can to help this football team. And I think if you jump over two people from the four-yard line to score a touchdown, you should be a Heisman candidate, if you ask me. Thanks. Uh yeah, Grant, I know earlier you said that y'all don't do much live tackling in practice, but, you know, Coach Pittman said that I think this past weekend was y'all's worst tackling performance of the season. What can y'all do? I mean, have you noticed maybe an uptick in physicality in practice this week or intensity or anything like that? Yeah, um, we put an emphasis on tackling. Um, we do um, individual drills every single day, and every single thing uh, with the linebackers, with the DBs, the D-line, we have something to do with tackling. If it's either a form fit, it's either – the first fun, the first stages of tackling, it's either putting your head on the ball. Um, at the end of the day, it's your eyes. Um, it's where your eyes are. And a lot of our eyes were in the wrong places. We were trying to rely on someone else to kind of come in there on the other side and make it. And we were going to force them out. But instead of just doing our job and staying inside out and making the tackle, um, there's not really an uptake or uptick on uh, physicality this week because uh, Coach Pittman, we practice really physical. Um, I think we're this is the most physical this Arkansas team has been in a long time. Um, and we just had a bad game tackling. Um, it happens. It happens to every other team. I know if you look at Georgia every once in a while, they're gonna they're gonna look at it. It may not be as bad as what everyone else thinks, but they're gonna have they're gonna say they're gonna have a bad tackling game. Um, but that's what we have to be able to do is we got to continue to get better. Um, we have to be able to put that and learn from it and learn from the ways we miss tackles and be able to fix them. Scotty. 
Yeah, Ty, I was just curious, uh, your impressions of Dominic Johnson have been this year, his physicality kind of popped a few times, whether it was throwing a block or making, you know, four or five guys miss on, I think, his first carry the other day. Uh, I mean, I told him in the game, I'll say it again. And, you know, if I watch a running back go out and just lay somebody out like that, I'm going to want to block for him even more. I mean, because he's helping us out with every block he gets like that. Because then, you know, if it's a D lineman, he pops him and lays him out. That D lineman is going to be thinking about it next time he has a pass rush or he's on the edge. I mean, it's that that's something that I don't, I feel like you don't see a whole lot out of running backs. And it's just been, I mean, as O line, you love that. You love physical people. And he's been really physical this year, laying people out. And then Grant, just what, what do you, what do you see from Tank Bigsby and was it Jarquez Hunter um, in, in Auburn's backfield? Kind of that, that one-two punch they have. Yeah. Um, the way they play is very physical. Um, they're really elusive um, with how they run. It's low center of gravity. Um, so you got to be able to bring your pads with you every time you hit them. Um, eight as well is another back that they keep in there. So they have three good backs that they can kind of rotate in and be able to play. Um, what they do with those backs is they get their line really moving forward and they let the backs hit it on the run. Um, when you go watch film against them and you see how they run and see how they hold the ball, you got to be able to gang tackle them. You got to be able, we had trouble with Bigsby last year tackling. This was one of our games that we, it was also muddy and rainy, but it was one of the games we had trouble tackling. So we've put a, like I said, put an emphasis on tackling this week and we got to be able to show up and be able to play and do it on Saturday. Bob, last questions. Okay. Hey, if you guys want to unbutton your top button, I don't think anybody will mind. You, don't look, you look a little uncomfortable, but uh, hey, uh, you know, a lot of teams are going to lose at Georgia and Ole Miss. Um, you know, everybody, the national media still, and coaches obviously think a lot of you guys because they still have your rank, but how important is it to, to, to you know, not, not let this losing streak get to three and protect the home field? I mean, you never want to lose, and it's our home field. You got to win. Uh and then again, like you never want to lose, even if it is Georgia or Ole Miss. So, uh, I mean, you just got to take every game one at a time. You want to win every single game. Uh, you know, we let we let Ole Miss, and you know, we lost to Georgia. So, I mean, we got to come back out and just treat Auburn like Auburn. Hey, Grant, you want to take that one too? Bob, I'm not gonna lie. I was fixing my call. I didn't really hear your question. Um, the way we got to fake, we, we got to focus at Auburn is we got to focus on this next game. We got to be able to win it. Um, and not, not because it's a make or break, but it's because it's our next game on our schedule. We got to be able to focus and be able to go one and oh. Um, and it's not the cliche one and oh that we all talk about. It's the one and oh, as in that's what Arkansas football does nowadays. We, we take what's in front of us and we try to win it. Um, we got to be able to go back and everyone always looks at those big four games that we were supposed to lose all four in October, but we got to be able to say, listen, we put our foot down. We got to be able to play football and especially do it in front of our, our home crowd. So um, we're excited for it. We're excited to get Auburn in here and uh, be able to play football the way it is. I ask guy one more. Uh, Ty, I think you started center, left guard, right guard. So this will be your fourth different spot to start. I don't know if Myron might let you start left tackle one week, but just what do you think about starting at four spots? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a cool thing to say you've done, uh, but I mean, there's, there's not much, you know, you can say after you've done, you know, center guard and tackle, it's pretty much the same on the other side, but I think I'll let Myron, you know, stay over there. I'm just going to focus on the right side. We're back and better than ever. All eyes are on the gridiron as teams are back for another football season. As always, Bet Online is your number one spot for all the pro and college football action this season. With a new updated site and interface, even more odds, props, and contests, Bet Online continues to be the number one source for everything football. Head to your website or use your mobile device to sign up today and receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Don't forget to to use our promo code believe to receive your bonus that's b l e a v from football basketball boxing right to your favorite vegas casino games don't wait to take advantage of these amazing offers for the 2021 season bet online is the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite sports bet online where the game starts